Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at Russell Wilson, what his scenario looks like there in Seattle with the Seattle Seahawks. As trade rumors do continue to circulate, Russell Wilson, his camp, and his potential future with the Seattle Seahawks, all of those are in question at this point. We see here a report coming from Bleacher Report that the Dolphins, Jets, Saints, Raiders are all mentioned on a possible list that Russell Wilson has constructed of places he would like to play in the future. And some executives in the NFL do think a trade could happen sooner rather than later. Now, I'm going to be diving into this, what I think, my thoughts on the scenario, if Russell Wilson will or will not be a Seattle Seahawk in the near future. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more utility sports content in the future moving forward. All right, so the first thing to do today is to take a look at Russell Wilson what his contract looks like with the Seattle Seahawks. They do have team control on him for a few more years at this point. He is under contract through 2023, so he has this next season. There is a potential out after 2022, though, so he can put a little bit of pressure on the Seattle Seahawks, not this next season, but the following year, as his possible last year in Seattle. He does have an out in his contract that could buy him an opportunity to hit free agency early, avoid the franchise tag, and really give himself some agency to decide where he wants to spend the remainder of his career. Now, do I see him leaving the Seattle Seahawks? I don't really know for sure. You know, the rumors about the offensive line, I understand that. But he mentioned the Jets here. That's not a team with a super great offensive line. The Raiders, they put their work into their offensive line. I could understand that. I could see that. The New Orleans Saints, they're a salary cap mess. There's no way that Russell Wilson ends up being a New Orleans Saint at the end of the day. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you guys. That is just not happening. They don't really have the assets to get there for a Russell Wilson deal, especially with what their salary cap picture looks like. They would enter cap hell, essentially, in a deal for Russell Wilson, making that kind of move. The Raiders, they do have the cap space. They could center something around Derek Carr going back to the Seattle Seahawks as well. Obviously, they're going to have to throw in a ton of assets in that move as well. The Dolphins and the Jets are really the two teams that do stick out when you look at an asset-based perspective here in their pursuit of Russell Wilson. Both the Jets and the Dolphins have two first-round picks this year. The, the Dolphins do have two second-rounders. The Jets have two third-rounders. They also have two first next year. Both of these teams are in situations where they could give up three first-round picks, and it wouldn't really impact their long-term future to the level that it would for other teams that only have one first-round pick this year. The Dolphins and Jets both are in situations that they could make a move for a quarterback. However, the Jets, I think Russell Wilson makes a little bit less sense than Deshaun Watson, uh, especially when you look at the idea that Watson's about seven years younger than Russell Wilson, doesn't have nearly the miles on his legs as uh, a guy who's been sacked as many times as Russell Wilson has. And I think he does have a legitimate uh, gripe with the Seattle Seahawks at this point. I think time and time again, they've shown that they're not willing to go out put an offensive line around him to really protect him, keep him healthy and keep him from getting hit in the pocket. His legs have done wonders over the past years, even avoiding some pressures. And yet he's still one of the most sacked QBs year in, year out. There are some issues there in Seattle. They already don't have their first round pick this year in the trade for Jamal Adams with the New York Jets. But I don't know if I for sure see Russell Wilson moving on from Seattle yet at this point, especially this off season when the Seahawks have two years of team control for sure possibly three if Wilson doesn't execute his opt-out after the 2022 year. Now from the Dolphins' perspective, I think that if a deal did get done, it would make sense with the Miami Dolphins. They have the offensive line almost partially in place. They need to vote one more tackle, I think, to really solidify what they've got there in Miami. They've got at least one great receiver there in Devontae Parker. I think that they could really use another upgrade piece over at the other wide receiver position, but they have so many assets that they can move up in the draft, make some things happen. If they did accrue Russell Wilson this offseason, I think that those are all possibilities that the Dolphins could put a, a quality team around Russell Wilson at his age 32 season. He would have a competitive team around him. The Dolphins would not only be a playoff team, but they'd instantly move to a contender in the NFL. And for the Seahawks, you could really look at them looking at getting two or three first round picks back at minimum and to a take of Iloa. That's a pretty good starting package there for Russell Wilson, what he's been in his career. He's a top three quarterback in the NFL almost every single year. And it's just hard to see 
a, a team wanting to move on from him without that three first round pick compensation and a young starting quarterback back to a take of a low, would carry some value in this deal. However, the Dolphins looking at a for sure upgrade with Russell Wilson coming to Miami, possibly. I think that other teams that would very much be interested in Russell Wilson is the Chicago Bears, but they lack some of those uh, same pieces that the Seahawks are lacking at this point with an offensive line. Right now, I think that there's a lot of smoke. And yes, when there's smoke, there's usually a fire. And I think that Russell Wilson is definitely not happy with the Seattle Seahawks overall. But do I think he's going to ultimately go to the fullest extent to force his way out of Seattle? Uh, that being, you know, maybe skipping OTAs, mini camp, preseason games, and so on, even up to the regular season. Is he willing to sit out of the season? Something we saw Carson Palmer do with the Cincinnati Bengals way back when. We saw Le'Veon Bell do that with the Steelers. I just don't know if he's willing to do that. Those decisions haven't really impacted those guys' careers in a positive way before. Does Russell Wilson carry enough weight being a Super Bowl champion and being as great as he has been in the regular season season in years past? Does that help him make a decision like that? Possibly. I think his value wouldn't go anywhere if he did decide to sit out and ultimately force the Seahawks' hand. But the Seahawks, without him doing that, are not going to be super moved to trade him unless they get an absolute godsend offer of at least four first round picks. I think that's kind of where the market's going to be to really move the needle for the Seahawks is they're going to, they're going to ask for four first and a young quarterback probably. And I know that sounds like so much to give up, but if you're the Seattle Seahawks, I, I wouldn't be motivated to trade a top three QB in the NFL for anything less than that, especially when he's only 32 years old, he's got at least another six, seven years in the tank. If I'm running the Seattle Seahawks, I'm looking into trying to build up my offensive line and show him how serious I take his thoughts on the team. Now, the salary cap does get a little tight for them if they go out and put some money into that offensive line. That's why they haven't been doing that for years. They've prioritized the secondary. They've prioritized wide receivers there uh, in Seattle. And they just haven't been able to develop a run game next to Russell Wilson in latest years either. Look back at what they had with Marshawn Lynch when they were really a Super Bowl contender year in, year out. They've been lacking that dynamism in their offense, having a true runner of the football, someone that Russell Wilson can work with and work off of as a passer. It's become very, you know, one-dimensional there. Sure, they've hit on some picks, DK Metcalf being the latest, giving Russell Wilson good options. However, this all stems back to basically the Max Unger for Jimmy Graham trade, where they decided that they were going to move away from the offensive line and go into more skilled positions, trying to put talent around Russell Wilson in a way that doesn't necessarily protect him. Those are all issues, uh, and it's coming to a head here with Russell Wilson not necessarily wanting to be a Seattle Seahawk for the remainder of his career. I'm very interested to be monitoring this situation. I think this is something we're going to have to keep our eye on here at Utility Sports. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss out on any news that could break here in the coming weeks heading up to the NFL draft. Ultimately, do I think Russell Wilson will get traded this offseason? No, I do not. I think that he will be a Seattle Seahawk. And I, I would just, I'd be so surprised if Seattle moves on from him as quickly as these reports are coming. I think that he's the top guy in the market for sure, him and Deshaun Watson. However, I think some of these other teams like the Jets, the Bears, maybe some of these teams that aren't necessarily at a contention level quite yet should be more interested in making a move for Deshaun Watson than Russell Wilson, just based off the age, the fit long-term. I think that Russell Wilson is looking for a situation he can go in and win. I think Deshaun Watson wants a new culture, a place that's going to value his opinion, and then ultimately try and build something there with him. Whereas Russell Wilson wants to go somewhere now, be protected, still taken seriously as a leader and someone who's going to have some say on the roster, what they put around him and the future of an organization. Those two have similarities in that way. But Russell Wilson is seven years older, has more miles on his legs. And I just think that teams are going to have a little bit of a difficulty going up to the, the standpoint where the Seahawks are asking for four picks and a quarterback. I just don't see a lot of teams going in that direction to get there. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the very next one.